Hey everybody, on another episode of Widgets and Wonders, my show about great products from small companies. Now today we're gonna check out Blacklist Games, big giant fantasy series one set of miniatures. It's starting to deliver um, via Kickstarter and of course will be available from retail soon. Uh, what this is, is basically a big huge like, starter set basically for collecting fantasy miniatures. Now if you have ever backed like a Reaper, Reaper Bones Kickstarter, that kind of thing, it's that kind of a curated collection of like common monsters, common adventurer types, um, for either your miniature agnostic miniature games, things like Frostgrave, um, your games at D and D, like whatever kind of floats your boat as far as um, you know, like um, like fantasy miniatures. This is going to get you going with like a whole host of bad guys, a whole host of heroes, and enough that you can play like a ton of different games. Now they're also developing a game called Lasting Tales, which Mark Latham, um, who of course was the author of uh, Elder Scrolls Called Arms from Modiphius, um, is writing, and it's a miniature agnostic sort of like solo co-op adventure game that will fit in with these. But the idea here is this is a standalone set of miniatures. Anybody could buy if they want to get into miniature wargaming. They're pre-assembled, hard plastic, um, and ready to basically paint. I, you probably want to clean them, obviously. No, no pre-assembled miniatures are going to be perfectly without mold lines and burrs and stuff. But I want to check them out. We're going to crack open the two boxes. I've got the Fancy Series 1 box set, the core box, as well as the stretch goals that were unlocked for the crowdfund they ran for it. Um, and let's take a look at them right now. So let's just dive right into it. There are two big giant boxes here in the series. Um, the core source set though is this box right here, which is Fantasy Series 1. Um, these are some big heavy boxes. Uh, so if you do want to pack these back in, my plan is actually to use these to store the miniatures. I think they're going to last quite a while. Some seriously thick card. Uh, if you're an RPG folk, you know, you might want to just keep this under your gaming table even. Comes the shield uh, and the top layer here. It's 70 miniatures in this box. We've got some kind of like bog horrors, I don't know, lizard, lizardy folks. Um, you can see they're all on attached bases. They do have some mold lines and a bit of flashing. If you're planning on using these just for RPGs, then you probably don't care because you're probably not going to paint them. Uh, you might want to scrape them a little bit, but this is not bendy vinyl. This is a hard plastic, about the same as like a Bones Black um, style of plastic. We got some giant rats. Now these are all the same poses. And that might bother some folks. It doesn't really bother me. I'll base them all differently. Give them different tufts and stuff. Uh, some sewer worms or giant, I don't know, burrowers. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but it, if you're playing Frostgrave and you need a giant worm, uh, well, that is clearly a giant worm. <laughs> we got some imps slash gargoyles slash little de baby demons. Five of them. And you get five of pretty much everything. You get some oozes because you got to have an ooze. What's going to turn your turtles into ninja turtles if you don't have an ooze? And it's all done in, and you'll see there's a bunch of these. Uh, clear resin. So I'm going to ink this probably um, and, whoa, and just do some basing. That just went on the floor. I'll go find him in a second. I'll pull it down for you. Oh, jeez, oh, that went on the floor too. Having a hard time here. Hang on. Where'd you go? There you are. And there's the other one. Um, but just painting the bases on these will pretty much finish them off. And it's very cool. It's got, I guess, this little pseudopod kind of hanging out there. I uh, get some kobolds. Or maybe these are... What does it say they are? <laughs> I think they're kobolds. They look like kobolds to me. Little demony, dragony mans. You can see here. Get to focus on that. Can you focus on that? Wait for the camera. Wait for the camera. I get you to do it. Oh, oh. If I touch the. No, I can't get it to do it. It's, there's too much stuff in the background. I'm going to hold it back a little bit. And then you get some spiders or giant ticks. Your call. They have eight legs and kind of tick like faces, but I think they're just giant spiders. And they are very cool. Again, everything on attached bases, everything pre-assembled. So that's layer number one. There's two layers in this box. Uh, that's the first 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 models. So the second 35 models on layer number two is where you get your heroes and stuff. So what do we got here? Well, we've got some goblins, because you gotta have goblins. All right, little knives. We got some orcs with big double-handed axes. Again, these are all the same model, but just by painting them slightly differently, give them different clothes, you can get some variety out of them if you want. Some zombies, because you gotta have zombies. Some gnolls, because it's gnoll country for old men. I'm excited to have actual gnoll miniatures, because Joe's always writing games that require me to have gnolls, because they're his favorite bad guy. Some skeletons, and these skeletons are kind of like hilarious Night of the Living, or um, not Night of the Living Dead, they're kind of like um, <laughs> uh, Return of the Living Dead zombies, where they have like the skeleton face and stuff. I like them. Broken swords. I got a lot of character. And then heroes. So uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 more bad guys, and then 10 heroes. 
we have a looks like a halfling rogue maybe a little short sword another little halfling rogue with two fighting stabbers i mean assassins got kind of a mold line on there but it's not bad uh you know what this plastic feels the most like actually is the walking dead all at war mantic plastic we got a cleric with a hammer maybe a paladin type if you want we got a big fighty night lady with double axes or maybe they're maces i don't know maybe she's a paladin as well she could be a cleric too face is nice details pretty crisp we got a mage, looks like an elf mage. A little fiber in there, it's a little bit bent, but I mean, this is this is like not vinyl, so you can see, you can just repose it. Bit of hot water, I probably shouldn't do that with my hands because it'll go white and a little bit weaker, but a little bit of hot water and you can bend that back and it'll be no problem. It's just cool like that it looks like. We have a elf fighter, like a paladin type. We have a, who are you? You look like an elf monk. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that monk. Some bare knuckle brawn. Looks like a ranger, maybe? Orc ranger with a bow? I like that. That kind of like, that's against expectations there. But, or half orc, sorry. Half orc with a bow. And then we have a dwarf. With a hammer and a shield. That's a very mighty looking dwarf. I like him. He's bigger than a goblin, but not bigger than a human. Right, everything's kind of in scale to each other, and then this looks like a dwarf, maybe mage. No fighter club barbarian, actually. Yeah, that's definitely a barbarian with a big club. Little dwarf barbarian, female dwarf barbarian. Very cool. And that's the first seventy. So ten heroes, sixty uh, like like baddie adversary types to get started on having a fantasy model collection. Uh, lots of like cool standard bad guys. So some zombies, some goblins, some orcs, some gnolls, some skeletons. Lots of beasties like giant rats, cave critters, oozes. And then if you backed the um, crowdfund to to do this, you also got all this. And this box is huge you might notice it's twice the size of the core box well there's a good reason for that i don't know if this will be available from retail but i figured i'd show it to you anyway i know the the fantasy series one is definitely available through retail there's a gajillion other guys in here holy moly all right what do we got we got more skeletons this time they're more like whites so like a big boss skeleton we've got some kind of cultisty types on layer number one here five of these Wearing like skin masks and hoods and stuff with knives. Some mummies, because you gotta have a mummy. Some constructs that are actually kind of badass. I like them. Big steam constructs. Again, lots of great stuff for Frostgrave here. Some banshees or specters in translucent blue. They're actually really nice. Some more imps. It's like a second variation of like impy little like demon here. Uh, a, I think these are some type of vapor snake. I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but this I actually needed for a Perilous Dark mission, and now there's a miniature for it. And I'm almost mad that Joe wrote vapor snakes in, and now I'm holding a miniature for one, because I was like, who even, who even writes this? You made this up, Joe. I don't believe this exists. We got some wild boars. They're actually really nice. I'm not sure what you're supposed to be. Some kind of great horned beetle. I, this is probably a D&D monster with an exotic name. I don't know that someone will correct me on the video here. And then tons more heroes. So there's two, sorry, two, oh, Jesus, tons. Uh, three, six, nine, 12, 15 more heroes. So you've got a bard. Looks like a halfling bard. He's actually really nice. And all the heroes are, are individuals. They're all unique. Uh, dwarf with a crossbow. It's like a ranged dwarf or a fighter maybe. Halfling. I don't know, ranger? <laughs> like a knife and a bow. I uh, got a male monk. He's actually really cool. The monks are actually really nice. I like the monk minis. Uh, looks like a dragonborn. Or no, not dragonborn. Drag, drago, dragonkin, dragon. I don't remember what they're called in D&D. Drag, um, dragon man. <laughs> Powder or fighter. Some type of elf rogue. Uh, we got a big old stabber lady. Uh, looks like a human fighter, female fighter. 
a uh, male paladin of some type, or sorry, a half orc paladin with a big flail. He's actually really cool. He's huge, too. I like him. You look like a tiefling. Yeah, some type of tiefling. You have a tail, so I'm guessing you're a tiefling. Maybe a wizard, another tiefling warlock, maybe, or a sorcerer. Looks like he's invoking. Female barbarian. Elf barbarian? Yeah, that looks like an elf barbarian for sure. Female wizard type, some type of sorceress, maybe a rogue or a bard, could be. Scoundrelly looking, uh, maybe an elf druid, that looks like a, a, a druidic crook there. Human wizard, yeah, or druid, he's he's reading out of a book, so he's some type of, some type of invoker. Or evoker, who knows, and then another dragonborn, dragonkin, dragon, dragon man? <laughs> like a sacrificial di dagger, so maybe like a priest, or a shaman, or a druid. Could be lots of things. And that was layer number one. So that was uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 55 miniatures in layer number one there. Layer number two, what do we got? All right, well, more baddies, more heroes, like, do you get so many, so many character models in this? It's, it's my favorite part, I think, is actually all the character models. And you get a ton. All right, so we got some werewolves, who are actually super cool. Check those out. Bunch of human rogue types, or cultists, bandits, maybe. Bunch of wolves. Looks like, big sort of like wolves, not quite dire wolves, but like cool wolf models. You get some harpies, like like actual harpies with chicken hands and chicken legs. Look at how cool they are. And all the like the detail, like the fa the faces is the big thing. With plastics, I always try and check out the faces. The faces are really nice. They're not super smushed. They don't like their casting is nice and crisp. Bugbears, so like big super goblins. More specters. Some ghouls. Little ghoulies. Or um, I mean they could just be additional zombies and stuff too, but they're definitely kind of like a ghoul thing going on there. Uh, and that's all the bad guys. You've got like a thousand more heroes. Five different halflings. That's a wizard probably. Uh, some type of maybe fighter or a um, uh, like a, uh, I don't know, maybe a paladin. That looks like a, a dwarf monk because you gotta have a dwarf monk. And I'm sure there's a listing of all these somewhere on the web. Uh, looks like another halfling fighter. Halfling Monk. Yeah, look at that. Spinning, spinning back kicks from the Halfling Monk. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Bunch more fighters. You look like a Ranger, maybe. Or a Druid. A little Halfling Druid. Uh, dwarf Fighter. Dwarf, dwarf Paladin, maybe. Human Fighter. And then another a Dwarf Invoker, maybe Dwarf Wizard of some type. He looks like he's about to throw a Hadouken. Which is pretty badass, actually. Uh, we got a bard, maybe human bard. Yeah, he's got a got a ukulele, so he's a bard. And you're just a elven fighter, looks like with a spear. What are you? Some type of sorcerer, an undead, like a lich, like a boss character. So he's like undead, necromancer of some type, maybe. So some of these are baddies, even unless you're playing a lich. <laughs> Another bard, looks like an elven bard. Uh, elven caster, maybe even a vampire. You can use him as a bad guy. Ah, oh, it's Wicked Dwarf Barbarian. We're gonna call him Shirtless Steve. And double axes, kind of a Slayer type. We've got a Rogue, looks like a human Rogue. What are you? Another human Sorceress. Maybe some kind of offering. A uh, Barbarian, maybe? Or a Ranger, human Ranger. You look like an Elf Thief. Yeah, pointy ears, so you're some kind of elf. This looks like the bandit leader, which is pretty cool, actually. He matches these bandits. Then another elf with a potion, so maybe a fighter. Human druid, female druid. An innkeeper, he's got to have an innkeeper, look at that. Yeah, ready to serve some drinks. And then last but not least, it, or at least it looks like an elf or a human ranger. Elf ranger, yeah, with a bow. So yeah, so there we go, another 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, plus a couple maybe bad guy bosses. And then, oh my god, 5, 9, 
uh, let's say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 heroes and an innkeeper and a lich and a bandit lord. Some cards for the bad guys that are in the upcoming game, I think. And then lots of big monsters. The last two levels are all big, huge monsters. We got some type of rock golem. Elementals of all types. So that's probably the earth elemental. We got the water elemental, the wind elemental, and the fire elemental. So elementals of every type. Got a big old troll. He's got a big old troll. Look at him. He's looking pretty trolly. Uh, we got a bear. Big, big dire bear. Walking around. We got a ogre, it looks like. Some kind of demon lord. Very demon-y. A big sword and stuff. And again, the, the models are, like, the wings are hard. There's no, like, bend to them. We got some shambling, like, swamp monster, kind of a fen beast. And we got a snake man. Big, I don't know, is this Serpentor? <laughs> Serpentor snake. And a giant. Big, huge giant. Which is super nice. And that's it. That's the stretch goals. Oh, and of course, you can't have a set of baddies with a dragon. A really nice dragon, actually. It's nice and chunky. Wings are solid. No bend. And they're all ready to go out of the box. So yeah, if you uh, are receiving this backing right now, then good for you, because you got a whole bunch of miniatures to paint. I have a whole bunch of miniatures to paint. I'm going to keep them in these boxes as uh, storage, I think, and check some out for my next couple games. I think I'm going to paint some up actually as... Um, the uh, bad guys for the next couple of Perilous Dark games for Frostgrave. The werewolves, obviously, I could use. Uh, lots of the lots of other stuff I could use. Um, but the quality's really nice, the, the hard plastic. Uh, and we'll check out how they paint up next week on the paint table. Paint some heroes, too, maybe, for some, some adventuring. And, uh, and yeah, and we'll show you what they look like when they're all painted up. So that's the, uh, the look at Fantasy Series 1 and the Fantasy Series 1 stretch goals from Blacklist Miniatures. So there you go, another great product from a small company. Now, if you know of a product you think deserves more attention, you can have them email me at gorillaminiaturegames at gmail.com or Facebook message me at facebook.com slash out of the basement into the streets. If you're interested in this stuff, I'll link the blacklist site in the video description below. And until next time, I'm Ash. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Ray Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.